Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Lauren, and today we're kind of going over our uh, dishwasher life hacks. We're going to be going over five today of uh, different ways you can use your dishwasher in ways you may not have thought. So the first one is uh, just your dishwasher maintenance, kind of cleaning it out. A good self-clean cycle, again, kind of similar to the washers and dryers that we saw uh, in the last video, is using vinegar. In your dishwasher, you could actually add, if you have a bowl, you could actually place a bowl on the top rack, face up, and you want to fill that bowl up with vinegar. And slowly, uh, once you have that, that bowl placed on the top center of your rack, fill it up with vinegar, you can close that rack slowly, and you can put it on a hot cycle. What that does is it's going to help break apart that old detergent, and it's going to kind of get that stuff, um, break it up. It's also going to help out your, if you have a hard food disposal in your dishwasher, depending on the model you might, it'll help kind of gunk up some of that, uh, that stuff that gets gunked up. You can kind of clean that stuff out. Um, number two, guys, what we can do is actually use baking soda. Again, kind of similar to last video. On the bottom of your dishwasher, uh, again, di uh, your um, baking soda is good for deodorizing. So you pull out your bottom rack here. This is where the majority of your smells are going to come from, is from your arm blades at the bottom, and the majority of it is going to come from your filtration system. All the stuff that gets passed through that. So what you could do is if you have those filters, you could definitely want to give them a scrub. You just want to get a bunch of baking soda and just powder this entire bottom area uh, in the little joints. If you have um, a filter system like this has, you can put some baking soda right here on the blades itself. Uh, again, you don't want to do the, uh, the, the uh, vinegar and the baking soda in the same cycle because that would create a volcano. You don't want to do that. Just do it uh, on two separate cycles. Just run the vinegars first, uh, run that through, and then just do the baking soda cycle second. All right, guys, and number three is uh, you can use your dishwasher to disinfect and clean things you normally wouldn't think of. Um, so first thing, you could actually, if you have uh, kids, uh, the toys that they use, you could actually use those. Um, you could actually throw them on your top rack of your dishwasher. Uh, you don't want to use a heated dry cycle because those could melt those toys. Uh, so you can lay them on the top rack of your dishwasher. Um, you could use a hot temperature cycle, but you don't want to use a heated dry because that could melt. Uh, just put them on the top rack, not the bottom. With the bottom, you potentially have a heating element which you can turn on. Um, even if you have a heated dry cycle off, you just want to be careful of that. Uh, throw them on there, you can kind of disinfect and clean those items. Also, uh, sponges. If you have sponges in the sink that you want to use and, and reuse, you can throw those on the top rack of your dishwasher, uh, run those, and it'll kind of clean out that sponge and kind of disinfect some of those. Also, the little scrubbing pads and Brillo pads, uh, or the scrubbing utensils, you can throw those right on the top uh, of the dishwasher. Uh, another thing that I've personally done too is uh, for car parts. Uh, for air filters, you can actually remove your air filter off of your car. You can lay that in your top rack of your dishwasher. You can even put it on the bottom. It's for, it'll support higher uh, temperatures. But you can put that on the bottom rack of your dishwasher, run it on a cycle. Obviously, no detergents needed. It's going to clean out that air filter. Uh, uh, hubcaps too, you could use, uh, if you have hubcaps on your vehicle, you can pop off your hubcaps, put them in the, you have to do them one at a time. You might be able to do two if you do one on the top rack, one on the bottom rack. You can put your hubcaps in there and it'll actually give them a clean and shine them up a little bit. Um, another thing for laundry, uh, things you don't want to throw in your washing machine, such as shoes, uh, potential to damage your, your drum of your washing machine, you can actually run those in your uh, dishwasher. You can run your, your, dish, uh, your shoes on your top rack. Of your, again, they're, they're heat sensitive, so you want to run your shoes just on the top, uh, face down towards the blades. Uh, also hats, you could do that as well. Again, heated, heated cycle off on those or heat the heated dry cycle off. And that is my number three, guys. And number four, guys, if you've ever experienced, if, you, if you're a fan of wine or have china that is a little bit more delicate, a lot of dishwashers, you will have a, um, a china setting on these, uh, but you may not. A way to kind of protect this instead of having to hand wash it is using a rubber band. Um, if you double band a rubber band, it also depends on the thickness of the rubber band, but if you double band your rubber band, uh, that should be good. And what you do is you put it on the top rack, obviously not the bottom. You could just pull this guy apart a little bit here and put it on the two other prongs, two or three, depending on the size uh, or the width of your glass. And what that does is it keeps it pretty steady instead of sh potential shake around. It keeps it nice and sturdy in there so that thing can't really move around, run into something else and break. Kind of keeps them all right there, kind of sustained. All right, guys, and uh, last tip is number five. And we've looked up a lot of different recipes for this, but you could actually cook salmon or trout or some type of fish in your dishwasher. Um, we'll put the link uh, in the description below, but basically what you do is you have your tin foil. You're going to 
you're going to season your salmon. You're going to put butter and whatever you're going to use for it. You put it in the, in the foil itself. You wrap it up nice and tight. Once you have it in there, you're going to put it on a long two-hour cycle on that top rack. So you put the actual uh, salmon in here wrapped up in, in, um, in foil right on top here, and you're going to do a two-hour cycle, and that's actually going to, um, it'll actually end up cooking the salmon through after a while. And uh, that's my number five tip, guys, and those are my different hacks for uh, dishwashers. Uh, again, guys, like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next week.